support this beautiful ceremony. And I look forward that you cooperate with us to make it enjoyable. Uh, it's not going to be about talking a lot, it's also going to be about tip tap and your mouth will be doing much of the talking as well. So we look forward that you eat. If you came with a belly full, I'm sorry, find an appetizer. <laughs> In the meantime, without taking much of your time, we'd like to say a prayer. Okay, so my name is Kofina Abumazi Longden. I'm the National Youth President for the United Nations Youth Association, Ghana. And I am here in support of this great initiative. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to serve in this capacity. Now we have to pray. I can see some of our we already have something in our mouth, but we still pray. <laughs> so, who do that courtesy? Who do us that courtesy? Let's pray. pray. Let's pray. Wonderful. Wonderful. Please lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Eternal and everlasting Father.
the, the, the one that welcomed me in Ghana, Nana, I'm so grateful to you because he's doing his diaspora work very eloquently and he's doing it as great as he could and humbly. Nana, I have seen the, the, the residents of the embassy many times. He came there to discuss, to talk, how to connect with Suriname. I have here, what is the purpose of this garden? Why I have two target groups here in, in, in this gathering, actors and uh, the kings and queen mothers and all of their supporters and the United Nations youth organization because we want to focus on the youth. Because whatever we do, it has an impact on the future of the youth. Right, Nana Obri? I'm speaking here because I know your focus is on the youth. He works with a lot of young people that I have met as well. Not all of them, I believe they are coming because they are working. The first assignment for me in Ghana is cultural exchange and the second is tourism the royal key uh, association is with tourism i went to their uh, um, opening uh, ceremony and i heard tourism and the royal chief association doesn't know that we have a royal chief, we didn't call it royal chief, but we have one in Suriname as well. And they are calling themselves Compass. I don't know if you know Dutch, but Compass is what you use in the ships to see where to go. In Dutch it is Compass. And they are the leader from about 500 years in Suriname because since the inception of slavery, Africans left the plantation and formed kingdoms in Suriname. That is as old as they are in Suriname. We are in the east and they are in the center of the country. And entrepreneurship. So I have three assignments. Cultural exchange, tourism, entrepreneurship. Who are the carriers of culture? The kings of God. Who carries the culture? And who are the true leaders of Africa? Are the kings and the queens and the queen mothers and their assistants? Why do I know that? I'm a chief's daughter. Wow. My father was a chief. And I had to assist him, and I hear I was not easy. <laughs> I think because of chieftaincy, the African culture, I had to do it. But you know, in my, my father didn't want me to go to school of the European. So he told my mother, if she is my daughter, she will never go to school because we have to educate her the African way. But my mom was, when she gave birth to me, she could not speak Dutch and understand Dutch. Her daughter should understand Dutch and speak Dutch. So nuns came to our village. Yes, I was born in a village. And they came early in the morning. My mom put on a dress for me and I went to school. My father 
would hit me any time my brother was not doing well in school. Because I should not do good. My brother should do good. So he would beat me. But I love my father to the max. I thank God that I had him. And that is why, because of both of them, I got the African way of education. Meaning, you don't come to a country and don't welcome the kings and the chiefs. That's why I have this first one with the kings and the, and the queen mothers because that is the way it should be. And what happened to my father? He was the first maroon father of my region to have a daughter graduate from the university as a sociologist. And he said he didn't know that he would be the first one. And because I look like him, that's why I was successful at the university. <laughs> and he says, the darker you are, the smarter you are. And I look exactly like that. <laughs> mommy looked like my king here. That was my mommy's color. And daddy has a win. And now we are winners here. And we will make Ghana and Suriname understand that they set the example for Africa and its diaspora, how Africa can lead the world in tourism and in entrepreneurship because we will do it. This is one. This is culture. This is the color of Africa the maroon people of my tribe are making with the meaning of love and the colors of Africa. And this is the way to paddle forward and to conquer. We are, they can win those who work against us, but we will conquer all the time. Thank you. Hey, Yeah, man.
Wow. Okay, ataku. Yali, 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 yali. And she is the vice president of Pangi Pe Aralas. Pangi is the rap, the maroons are putting on. Pe means entertainment and everything. Ahala is an African word of support. So when you support each other, we all are Ahala together. And that is what they do. Wow. Me parlo di ipi wafu ya soto. Mila Corneli a mimba. Mila a force ta fu maron fro netwera pani pe a hala. I greet you all. Odi means greetings. Yali yali. A tapu in the Okanisi language, which is one of the tribes. She says Odi, which is the national uh, language for all the blacks, the Africans in Suriname. And she's the president of the foundation, Maroon Women Network Foundation, Pangi Pe Ahala. Both of them are for the first time in Ghana. Wow. Uh, my name is Joseph Pamfo. I'm an actor. Thank you very much. And we'll go to the other side because we still have other. <laughs>
My name is Jaja Rashid, a procurement specialist from the Central Municipal Assembly. Thank you for coming. My name is
traditional area. Wow. Not only that, in terms hmm. of tourism, I, I believe everybody knows me. I'm from the tourism fraternity. Immediate past president of the Ghana Tourism Federation, two-time board member, Ghana Tourism Authority, Minister of Tourism, Art and Culture, advisor, <coughs> board, advisory board. Um, to be honest with you, we formed this association based on the fact that we've realized that traditional culture has broken down completely in this country. Gone are the days that you see our uh, elderly idols sitting in buses, the youth who stand up for them, when they see them carrying heavy loads, they will even beg them and take the loads. But today, what are we saying? Okay. Our culture values, traditional values are broken down. And we decided that we are going to work with the youth of today, educate them about our culture and our tradition. We have also identified the fact that when you go to other countries, they also believe in reality. They believe in our culture. And Ghana, we have a very unique culture, identical to other countries. So we have decided that we are going to work on this exchange program. So today, we are so happy to associate ourselves with Her Excellency, the Suriname Ambassador. He has taken the lead. She has taken the lead, of course. And we believe that other ambassadors, ambassadors will emulate what she has done today. Thank you, and together we can move forward. God bless you. So thank you very much. Um, Officer Che Nana and Nim, we are grateful to you for the time. Um, we are here to eat and talk. So whatever you have on your table is just a starter. <laughs> Please, um, they'll be coming around, taking your orders. Can you do well to let them know what it is? We initially were thinking you go there to bring it, but I think it's better to sit while the conversation goes on and then they bring it up. Okay, so it's a conversation. What are we looking at? There are three things that Her Excellency has mentioned that is prime to her. Yeah. Does anyone have any idea? Tourism. Three things. Culture. Her Excellency has mentioned three things. Tourism, tourism, entrepreneur. Tourism, tourism, and entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Culture, tourism, entrepreneur. Yeah. So it's an open conversation. You want to pick your thoughts, share your mind. Let us get to know what you see, the dynamics involved in all this. The two countries are our focus. So, who will go first? <laughs> Nana Obri. Yeah. Nana, Yeah, man. Sitting down here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. Let's give him a snap. 
centuries. We are still the people who created civilization. And so civilization will go and then come back home to us as the people who started it. And theater, which is one art form that goes back and forth in time. What was there what is there today and what we project to be in future are things that can be captured in theater for us to really open our minds. I always say that Africa is famous for so many things. Also, if you're famous for so many things, but you can use theater to educate ourselves, inform ourselves, and as well entertain ourselves. I always say that let fame tame your game so that you will always come up successful. Be of value, rather not to value. We as a people, we have a basic culture that everybody knows comes from Africa. The only people whose language so sweet, so sonorous, so tonal, so great, that you can never, ever, you know, push our language aside somewhere and, and then, and then, Get away with it. No. Our language is so powerful, so strong, and, and, and it's the embodiment and the bedrock of our We can hear you, please. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I, I will try to I, I will try to project yes, so that you can you can hear me. Thank you. As a theatre actor, I, I do projections yes. on stage, so I should be able to project to your hearing. I'm glad that we're having this event because um, it has closed the gap between us. And it's not only closing the gap, but also make sure that this gap turns out meaningful to our relationship so that we identify ourselves as the same people and not different. And we identify our history, our culture, our language, everything that we see between ourselves as things that were from here or from there. And therefore, in our collaboration to cement that relationship, theater, film, those are areas that we can safely collaborate and will make us, you know, stronger together. Because Pan -African, Pan -African. It's actually by the union of the family. Yes. They return to the homeland. Exactly. Whatever we have here, whatever we know here, whatever we do here, is what the world wants to see, want to do. And we are the agents of that. We will now have to put ourselves in a position to tell the world that, yes, we are this family and no other family. And indeed, this family is the oldest family, is the richest family, is a family that is everlasting. They are the only race that has been bastardized over centuries, and yet we are still the most important race on earth. And so it is important that we see ourselves as great people. We have only just gone to sleep. We should wake up and then do what is doable. I believe Ghana and Suriname are the same and one union of people who like each other, love each other, and can do things together. Nice one, nice one. Yali, 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 yali. Yali, yali, yali. Because the knowledge of earth. In Suriname, it's the same like in Ghana. We have a village in the Samaka tribe called, what's the name? Bisa. Samaka. Daome. 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 Daome is a village where when your bone is broken, you go there and they fix it. 
And the first thing they do, they break the legs of a chicken. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that they ah. put the medicine to it. That's right. And when it's fixed, you're, you're fixed. Yes. That's right. Exactly. And exactly. they do not exactly. allow <laughs> non-black to go to that village. Really? Wow. For 10 years, Conservation International wanted to find out how they use these herbs to melt the bone. The bone is 10 years, they could never have a kiss. They did not allow them. They told them what they used, but they didn't tell them how they used it and how they did it. And this village, when you go up the waterfalls, you don't see it. And it's called Daume. Daume. Wow. And it's still there. It's not like and it's Daume. not a Christian mm. village. Yeah. yeah. Sure. They also do the same thing that we do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then it, it's a tribe over there. Those over there. Yeah. <laughs> and be the, the, the man in the village and the woman in the village still do the traditional wedding and not even the wedding. I was, my father would never accept my wedding if I did not do it traditionally. All that we do it is my husband's maternal family and my maternal family, all uncles come together if they agree on it. And then we can come together and dowry is, is, is a must. And Mr. Rask is here because music is what freed us. And one of the songs was to thank God. And that thank you God was Wow. 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 So the movie starts, my lovely lady there, she has to do something. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one can be my, 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 the chief who was my father. That's right. You know, in the village, the village is still there. It's yeah. called Agiti. Achicha Ronewe. That's the village, Achicha And uh, the Nigerians say it is Agiti Thursday. On Thursday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kitty, and Agiti oh, is a place in Nigeria. Yeah. 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 And that is the name of my father's village. Oh. Wow. So please come to us. We will. We will. I can respectfully say that uh, 
On behalf of my fellow colleagues here, yeah, we are extremely elated that you have deemed it fit to honor us by your invitation so that we can engage in this process. And it is a process that we all must recognize that Africa is at the cups of a new age and a new dawn. And that unless we have a consciousness towards making the narrative change about Africa on all sectors, in all respects, in all regards, it is through the creative space that we'll be able to reach out and bring our people together. But there has to be a consciousness. So I am excited that Nana, who said it most eloquently, of the challenges that are before us and what we must do. And indeed, Nana as well, and our lovely Queen Mother, I'm the king. It's a king. It's a king. Ah! 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 Our commitment to ensuring that whatever dream that you have regarding the unionization of Suriname and Ghana and the much broader uh, agenda of bringing the African nations and the kings and the queens together, we can play just a small part of it and offer ourselves as the tools in which that we can achieve your aims and your objectives. So, one is young.
peace. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So now I have to work on it. I like to keep it in the beginning. Okay, the chain and then name the first. More beautiful. Excellency. Madam Grand Galon. Oh, yeah. Grand Galon. She told me, Grass, I would like to invite the actors. And I said to myself, which actor am I going to? The Lord says, seek those you know. Then I seek, and I'm glad that they are also here. More beautiful. Some of them know her already, so I'm not taking credit for anything. But I wish to take this opportunity to thank Okate Chie, and I need the first, and Your Excellency, Madam Grant. Merci beaucoup. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for this honor and beyond words. And one thing I'd like to say is that I'm very happy that this union is coming on. I think it's long overdue. Years back when I was in Amsterdam, I had a friend, in fact I still do have a friend called Angelique. And she's from Suriname. So anytime I meet with her family, they speak their language and some of the things I could understand. So I started picking up from them. And I wanted to go so much to Suriname that at a point, the Surinamese, there was one Surinamese uh, place that I went to. And I couldn't speak. They were speaking to me. I couldn't speak. And they thought I was from Suriname. So they said they were going to go to me. And I said, my husband, I, I want to go. I'm ready. That's the only place I really want to go. If they want to deport me to Suriname, that's God's will. I will go. But unfortunately, I do not But it's been something that has always been on my heart. Because I've never heard about Suriname when it comes to entertainment, movies. I've never heard. So it always dawned on me that I should make that connection. And so I think, for me, my opinion, I think this meeting was orchestrated by God. It's a divine thing. And with God, 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 God. And I think, me being into a fashion as well, I love working with African fabrics a lot. And I love the fabrics that I'm seeing. So it will be a good thing for all of us. We will carry our cultures across. Will carry all the messages and everything. I think we have great ambassadors here, and yes. we are so honored that you deemed it fit to call upon us to do this today. Thank you so much, and God bless. When some of us were here, much, much younger. Excellency, I don't think I have to tell you how honored and privileged and blessed I feel because just about everybody has said it. This is God ordained, no doubt about it. I'm going to try to be very quick. Um, on October 10th, 1964, 10 year old Oprah Winfrey was watching television and she saw. Diana Ross on the Supremes performing on TV. For a 10 year old black girl in America, there were no black role models during that time. So for her to see these three beautiful black women performing on TV, that changed her life. And she watched them and she said, I want to be like that. Oprah is not a singer, but that propelled her to say, I want to get to that level. As actors and actresses, I think we often underestimate the power of television and film. Yeah. And we have no idea where what we are doing, what we are exhibiting, and what we are showing is being carried to, and where it is reaching, and who is seeing it, and who is being inspired, motivated, and encouraged by it. So through this medium, I'm grateful to you, Your Excellency that we have the opportunity as actors to be able to connect with the Surinamese people and for them also to connect with us 
And I'm sure we've realized this evening that we are all more alike than different. Any of that? No. Ali Ram. So once again, thank you so much for this opportunity. It is a life changer for all of us. I look forward to this wonderful, blessed union, this marriage that is going to produce many, many beautiful children. Wow! More beautiful. Wow. And on the 10th of October, 1760, uh, they signed the first peace treaty with Tata Ajako, Tata um, Fabi Labi. That is his name. Oh, Labi. 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 Yeah. Ah. yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and these were the leaders that signed the peace treaty of the 10th of October. And it is now a national holiday in Suriname. So you are all invited to come to Maroon Day this year, Suriname. So all invited. And we want what the actor said of Oprah Winfrey. Right now, they are translating all the African movies into the maroon languages. Wow. And you make us feel so proud to be Africans. And we don't say we are Africans, we say Kang Kang African. Kang Kang means pure. Nothing is there. Even if a white blood is not we are still Kang Kang. So please, your movies are doing great work in Suriname right now, and we are buying it. So what we want to work with this is for the direct flight to come ASAP. That's right. Wow. Direct flight. Wow. 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 We are waiting for Ghana to make it happen. So Suriname is ready for the flight. We are there. We are there. Okay, so can we just allow him to give one few points to you? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. No, no, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, 
Monica, Thank you so much. Monica. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yes. I'm I'm most worried. The <laughs> courage <laughs> Because worried with condition. Yes, because I was expecting that the men would take the mantle for the marriage and the children. But if the women have taken the lead, hallelujah for <laughs> in Ghana. About eight years ago, we reached out to Suriname. I have never, uh, I didn't meet the ambassador at that time. But through New York, through other ambassadors from Suriname to the United Nations, we approached him about bringing African kings to Suriname. We had a very clear vision about why to do so. Because in the Caribbean, there's a huge movement of reparations. And if you're in Ghana, you can't miss that. So, we thought, if we're going to repair something, we need to know what has been damaged. Exactly. Yeah. We still continue to have this dialogue every day on our platform, where you have all the Pan-Africans that you can possibly imagine. Now, the question is, what has been damaged? It is the kingdoms that have been damaged. It is from the kingdoms that slaves were taken. It is from the kingdoms that nations were taken. This is why we make effort to repair the nations. So when we approached Serena, our effort was to bring African kings to Serena. And eventually, Yotunfo went to Serena. You may be aware of that. But he wasn't the only one. The ambassador is very hopeful about these stories. But there are other uh, kings, uh, 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 chiefs from Ghana, I went to Surinam, especially from Peru. Yes. <laughs> the ambassador has a beautiful story about that. When it comes to Last. when it comes to actors in our organization, we have the Nollywood. Just because we have post kings, so we can reach out to them. We have a few members of the Nollywood. Uh, we have people like uh, the Kutis and so on and so forth. But it would be really good to to, to connect with you guys. Uh, based on what you do, and I think the responsibility is, is is very clear that these stories have to be told. That I wish we had more. I don't know who to, where the directors are, where the screenwriters are, where all you know. But this is what we need to to engage them with because there are so much beautiful stories to be told. Mm-hmm. And believe me, in our stories is the wealth. Yes. That we and just like the ambassador was talking about the fact that bringing this culture to Suriname is very appealing to the people. This is part of the healing. This is the healing that we're experiencing today. Just as we experienced it in Kweru, when we sat around in a circle. That was when? That was just three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So all these things are things that are very healing to us. We are in the era of healing. And there's going to be a lot of challenges. So ours is not to take this lightly, but to recognize our responsibility in it. All the programs that uh, the ambassador is talking about, and those around that, 
think your presence and your support is so important as a, as, as a, a, a actors and, and a, a, you know celebrities as you are because you have great influence in the people. Yes. You tell our stories and there's so many stories to be told that could heal us, that could help us forge our strength. You kindle that bridge that's been broken over the years. You know, I just wanted to lend a word to that so that we know that we're together and we're going in the right path. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. Nice one. And there are a few introductions that I need to do. Dr. Charles Benin, please, your final words there. Um, good evening, Excellency, Royal Highness, um, all people of present. Sorry, I'm uh, It's indeed my pleasure to be given this opportunity to say a few words. In 2019, I attended an event in the United States of America, and it fell in line with the annual UN General Assembly. So I had the opportunity of meeting one of the senators in New York, who is an African American, and wanted us to have an exchange program. So in the letter he sent me, he mentioned that he's the chairman of Association of Banks in New York, as far as the senatorial committee is concerned. He's the co-chair of Black Caucus Association in New York. He is this, he's this. Then he mentioned that. He has visited Senegal and South Africa. Then, just after that, he said he occupies four chieftaincy positions in the Igbo state of Nigeria. So that got me talk to Bogi. I was like, ah, this man didn't mention that he has visited Nigeria. He said South Africa and Senegal. But he holds four chieftaincy positions in the Imo state of Nigeria. So how did that happen? Then I said, I know my Nigerian brothers. They are very smart and aggressive. Said that they can even chase you in New York with a cheap transit position. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I said, okay, fine. Then it gives me an idea to also start something. In line with the Beyond the Year return that His Excellency the First Man initiated. I have a lot of great African Americans in my network. So the first plan was, I was going to find out from the senator whether he could get us one great person for us to make him a development chief. They are familiar with kings in Ghana, so we can leverage on their network and also do something in our country. But because of COVID, 2020, 2021, the annual events didn't come out. I couldn't have a chance to travel. Then what I did was I spoke to one of my great African-American personalities and he accepted to become a development king, one of the kingdoms in the central region. And I'm happy to say that Excellency is a product of that king, just like myself. We all have honorary doctorate degree from this great man who became a king in Ghana. Last year we brought 75 African-Americans to Ghana. Wow. And we are doing a lot of great stuff. But the more reason why I'm even super excited is the fact that we have our royals and our actors and actresses here. We are doing something with actors and actresses in Hollywood. And I believe this is a good platform for us to and see how best we can connect to the <laughs> case as well. In October, I nominated one king who chaired the U.S. President Lifetime Achievement Award in Washington D.C. After which we met the mayor of New York. We are bringing him back to Ghana. So this is for us. To and I'm humble to say I introduce Excellency, my sister, to my brother, Oketechi, Nana Emi, the first. The first. More powerful. More powerful. I'm available for the sea of iconic legends. We want to change the paradigm of how we are going to relate with our brothers and siblings in the diaspora. Thank you very much. One in him. Money, Kaza. We didn't say it correctly. We are so humble. We have the title.
title of I Changed Nation. Yes, I home. got it in 2014 when I was ambassador in Trinidad. And that is Dr. Clyde Rivers. He and I are in contact so we can talk to him. We are Goodwill Ambassadors. And there is also an award in my name. <laughs> so, Pioneer Award. And I can uh, um, uh, nominate pioneers. So, all of us are pioneers. So, you can get the, the that award as well. That is from Dr. Clyde, Professor Clyde Rivers. And he and I are working together when I was not an ambassador and an ambassador. So please, there are great things to happen and he can come in as well. He wants to be in this Ghana activities of me. So sometimes you don't have to say too much, let us do. Sometimes when you say it and you don't do it, your, 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 my father would say your you're good for not That's having it. his name. That's so not it. Be yeah. So let us be good. That is it. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Let me take the opportunity to go. We are in the last part of the business. Tobwe uh, Atuga Soga, the second, is the chief of Soga Power. And uh, he came with the princess Soga. Thank you very much, Tobwe, for coming. Chief, Chief, you need to speak with us. Please do so. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Alaikum salam. That is it. This reconnection is a big thing. We owe it to ourselves, to our ancestors. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. I believe the not too distant you know, future, the connection will be bigger than this. And that will resonate even with the bigger America. God bless this gathering. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Chief, Chief, Chief Chamba, you have a proof in our midst. You have a proof. 
There's some descendants that are actually here. Yeah. Wow! Some bad descendants. Wow! Wow! Wow, Chamba.
I don't understand. I want to, if you don't know, please, we have um, the chief, our bosses. Yeah. So ask. So, so if trusted um, if the, the 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 spirit of the person resonates with the spirit of the dead and the spirit of so the exactly. so so uh, yeah. if uh, we say someone is spiritual is the person comes from the spiritual base of this Jesus. The spirit resonates with the spirit living and spirit with dead and born. And so we actually one of them. Not different from the people that whether man or you say you are spiritual. So if so, say a sadia or that one face to face, we have many number show your name. May the best you so I want you to let her essence to know that she is a spiritual woman. Wow. Wow. So, um, if you start crying, I'll help you. <laughs> so, to, to, for it to dovetail into peace. When I came here, and uh, I visited Wale, and I saw her, I looked at her again. I didn't know that she was ambassador. But she resembles my cousin in Cape Coast so much. <laughs> wow. You know what? Oh, she released that person until later I learned that I was ambassador. And that is the spiritual link you're talking about. At times you, you go somewhere, you meet someone, you don't know the person from anywhere. But you can immediately feel some link with that person. You are resonating spiritually with that person because you have relationship either today or years before or even years to come. And so you are one and same people. You are not different. And so as a spiritual woman, I'm your brother, you're my sister. Everybody here is related to you. You are also related to everybody here. And I'm a castle will be a spiritual person or man, I be a man. So they watch your children. Who be a one is what you now open me be a yammy dear be be with him now. Obi him now. Person will be home or two and stuff yet in Yamu. Then come the fact only him a tiffy a boy a toy. Every year, when I'm in the way, I'm a share in the way. Now you're named seeing in a year in the papa for a church. Whatever pushed you to congregate, to congregate as here, it is a seed that is sown in you that you wanted to germinate. And the only way it can germinate is to bring us together. If we had not come together today, we wouldn't have known that we were that close. One and same thing. That thing that has been planted in you will come out. And you come in a day. And you come in a day. Or two, I say, you made it. Or two, I made it. Because if you don't have any idea, you can't say it. You can't say it. For me, I want everybody to know me from now. I did not get a chance to enter every class one. But I decided to learn how to write, how to speak, whether a papo and a papo. I will say it as it is. The catcher, mammy said, Me, you need to be a second year. And I want to hear from you immediately. Catisa, Cayenne and I are in Africa, Suriname, Ghana, Cayenne made it pizza. That's right. Cayenne, Mary, a cuckoo food. I care about you. 
Who fell my fault? I. Whether it's a short hand, ever, I don't know. You just take my form, you look, and then take my picture, you see. Because you don't understand, you tell me go away. Every fail is a fail. Because the queue is so long. If you decided to waste my time to read everything or ask me a question, so the next day, so you tell me, thank you, and my country will say, wow. Oh, goodness. God bless you. We you cherish you, we appreciate you, we adore you. God bless you. You are our mother. You are our wife, our sister, our brother, our king, our queen. You've let us know where we come from. You have let us know all of us are one. There is no discrimination because the names that you have mentioned. Because of you, I'm old woman, but I will force myself to born my last born. <laughs> and name that last born. Wow. If not me, maybe one of my children. Anyway. I love you so much. Yeah, that's good. And whatever I'm saying is from my heart. It's from my heart. This is the type of person that I'm waiting for. Wow. She doesn't fear anything. She respects. Respect is the key to open all the doors. She respects. She is a spiritual woman. If we don't know, I'm telling all of us. I'm going to learn from her. So all of us should join the key. The key and because she was saying something about Elmina Castle. I'm a Ghanaian. I haven't been there before. If you allow Her Excellency go back without learning anything from her, we are going to be the losers. Exactly. If you don't know, I look at this man, look at you. I, I, I don't even know what to say. My name is Madam Azmera. Yes. So, we are there already. <laughs> I want us to arrange, arrange, and then select a year, a month, a day, a week, and then meet again before it's too late. Thank you. Man. God bless you, Nana. More powerful, Nana. More powerful. What you hear? Nana no me shout.
God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. More powerful. More powerful. Um, I can say for sure that no matter what, I am the chairperson for the day. As always. As always. <laughs> So I decided to stand. Um, listen to all the speakers, brilliance, speeches, statements, and what have you. All that I would say is that from today, we are going to have a platform. Apart from the larger platform, we will then ask the artists and actresses to give us three people. The musicians here, three people, the consultant or whatever, with Mr. Dr. Warris, the three people, and then the Royal Chiefs Association will champion the cause of it. Wow. We are going to embark on a journey to Suriname. Wow. 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 We've had yali, yali. very intensive discussions. The three people that you are giving us to be sure have to be very proactive. That is it. Who go there and sleep. <laughs> Whoever knows me knows that I'm an action person. We are going to try them, give them terms of reference to start working. So that by November from now to October, it could be earlier than that, we are going to Suriname for the SG program. Wow. We are going with three key points. One, tourism. Two, entrepreneurship. And the last one, culture. So they should bear in mind that these are going to be the terms of reference for them. Having said that, I will then take my seat and say, thank you so much for coming. Let's move from here. Ashing, and we are there. That is it. Amen. <laughs> So now we are really done for real. I'll call on Sylvia. Okay, finally, finally, um, the, um, finally, they said entrepreneurship stroke business. Amen. So it's going to be entrepreneurship stroke business men and women. So they will bring them also on board. Then finally, like my advisor, the relative association advisor, Whispered into my ears, so I need to voice it out. Next month, the grandmother that she mentioned, she's going to be officially buried, and we need each and every one there because she has agreed that you will not go there and come back like the way you are. That's the pastors keep on saying. <laughs> hey, I'm about to start shepherding. The life will never be the same. Aye. <laughs> and then they will go there. More beautiful, Nana. She's a adult worshiper. It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> so now, Robia is saying that transportation <laughs> should provide transport. Accommodation. And she will provide accommodation to everybody here on that day. Together with the girls. She's not 
going to provide one again. Well, like, <laughs> so if you come with your phone again, very enough. This is pretty serious. If you come with phone again, yeah. you are entitled to phone again. But that note, thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so Sylvia, please give us the most of that. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, good evening to you.